Metal Slug Awakening. The game originally started for a series in 1996 for Metal Slug 1. It was originally owned in Nazca in Japan before joining SNK in 1996. Originally made for the Neo Geo, MVS, and AES consoles. Now, the game can be referred to as just another continuation of the series, continuing the classic gameplay loved by fans with exciting new features like world adventure, free player team up, and roguelike challenges. It has online multiplayer and a lot of bosses within the game. The main guy you play as is called Marco. He has certain abilities that end up helping him a lot. Full name Marco Rossi. His background is that he went to the Yami Central system, but of course you'll never admit it. He meets and we follow as Airy, Palmer, and Theo. Metal Slug Awakening has mixed reviews. Well, one of these can be read. Pro, Theo is in the game. Gameplay is more fun than your typical gacha title. You can play as Theo. A lot of content, maybe too much content, maybe in fact. Theo is the best. Though I prefer my Metal Slug to be pixel art, the 3D graphics in this are surprisingly effective in replicating the charm of the original title. Feel is so cool. Cons. It's a gacha. Free to win as far as you can see. Infinite grind. Oh dear lord gacha. This is followed by a negative review. I'll tell you what man, this game is pay to win lottery. Too good to be true. You have to pay real money to get better weapons and upgrades. Doesn't like good old classic Metal Slug. For developers, nothing else. And the whole game feels different from classic. I prefer old Metal Slug any day. Let's move on to the gameplay. So it appears that Metal Slug Awakening is another type of those side-scroller run-and-gun games, similar to ones like Cuphead, perhaps, and Johnny Trigger, a mobile game that was also a side-scroller similar to this. Uh, it looks like you get some abilities in the game as I have already mentioned, and you just go through levels by progressing, by going to the side, killing your enemies, and defeating any bosses that are in the level. Uh, this boss was a giant ship uh, with blasters, uh, missiles, and using the thrusters as its weapons. So the game has some pretty fair bosses. The controls, they are simplistic. It's just a simple moving to the side and shooting. I played it on mobile, so that is why you have my gameplay being like that. But either way, it is still pretty easy to play. Unless you use an emulator, then it can be a bit confusing. Now you're probably wondering about my opinion on Metal Slug Awakening. Personally, I only played the first level so I could get the, game the gameplay footage. The gameplay footage. Make sure to edit that, mate. I believe the game was actually pretty decent, it's not my usual style of game, but I do believe that even though it is not my style, it is still a good game nonetheless. Just a basic side-scroller game in which you just have your own little buttons. I've not yet experienced any of the online multiplayer side, but from single-player gameplay myself, I actually like the game for not being used to them. Reminds me of playing Cuphead. Although, this isn't a rage game, it's just a simple chill game where you can get on with a bit, little bit of action. Overall, I would give the game probably about 4 out of 5 stars. It's a really good game, not my usual style, but that's not why it's 4 stars. Personally, I feel like the game could have done a bit more. Again, I haven't looked at the single player, so I could be incorrectly doing this, but... I feel like they could have done a bit more character-wise. I feel like Marco didn't have enough abilities. Uh, his play style of me didn't really seem the best. But I did also play the game via an emulator, so that could be one of the reasons that I kept dying on the VOD. Another thing oh, as to why it's 4 out of 5 is that even though the game is like really good and great, at the same time, I feel like it's also fairly bland for what this franchise would have been. Because all the previous games, as you saw in the preview of the video, was 
that was all the previous game from Metal Gear 1 to uh, Tactics. In which Metal Gear 1, I feel like that has a lot more action than what the current one does. So it doesn't really feel as good as the old days. But that's my personal opinion about it. I apologize if you have another one, but I'm giving my responses as to this. Anyway, that is it for the video. Uh, thank you for watching this review. And I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.